folks welcome back to the channel and uh, here we go again uh, another Pagani design uh, but this particular one uh, there seems to have been uh, a bit of fuss going on about this and um, I have to admit I'm kind of struggling to see why um, what's all the fuss about um, there's been several reviews that have kind of uh, been uh, you know quite negative about this watch there's been one or two that have kind of asked questions um but uh yeah i just thought that uh, i'd give uh, give my take on it this, this has actually been sent to me uh, by simon uh, over at watch the time um he's lent it to me so that we can have a look at it so cheers mate thank you very much please go over and uh, go and uh, show him some love that would be much appreciated but anyway, I'm not going to bother going through the box. We all know what's in there. It's the standard thing. It's not one of their premium... Oh, sorry, Kevin. That's about the third time I've done that to you. Uh, not one of their premium watches. Um, premium. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, it is really... It is just another Pagani design watch. And, uh, you know, this is a homage to the watch that went to the moon. Um, and... Uh, it is, uh, I think you kind of have to manage your expectations. Um, yeah, we all do, especially when a watch is, uh, is kind of 60 quid. I mean, it's, it's 60 quid. It's not a lot of money. Um, yes, it has issues, um, which we will go through. Um, but, uh, you know, to the meat and the bones. Uh, Size-wise, we've got a case size of 41.5, uh, including the crown, 43.9. We've got a lug to lug of 48.1, a thickness of 13.7, and that includes that domed sapphire crystal. Uh, we've got a lug width of 20 mil, and we've got an overall weight with all the links in of 150 grams. Uh, the construction is all 316L stainless steel, solid link bracelet, milled clasp, um, stainless steel pushers. Uh, the outer edge of the bezel is stainless steel. The insert is ceramic. Um, now, as you can see, this is a quartz powered. Um, it's got the Seiko VK64 movement in it, um, which is a kind of a hybrid. Um, we've got some uh, fingerprints on this already. Let me just get rid of those. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's... To be fair, it's it's not that bad, uh, if I'm honest. Uh, it's not the not the kind of thing that I would want to keep in the collection myself. Um, but if you if you like uh, this kind of thing, then yeah, I mean it's it, you got to remember it is sixty pounds. As you can see, it's catching that studio like there is no AR coating on that uh, on that uh, crystal. Uh, but on the uh, on the dial. You've got, uh, starting from the outside, you've got your tachymeter bezel, which is misaligned. Um, it's, uh, I've, I've seen one or two reviews where they've uh, been okay. I've seen a, a couple where they've been misaligned as well, uh, which is always a gripe. There was also, on this particular one up here, uh, there was uh, quite a bit of uh, kind of overspill of glue. Uh, which is a kind of a QC issue, uh, but you've got all applied indices and little loom dots on the outside of those. Um, you've got the uh, the fence post style hands, which have got loom in them. You've got the uh, Pagani Design logo just below the two loom dots at 12, and uh, then Pagani Design and Chronograph printed underneath that. Uh, down at the six o'clock position, you've got Japan movement. The subdial over on the right hand side is a 24 hour uh, subdial. The one at the bottom at the six o'clock is your running seconds. And then sandwiched between the two of those, you've got an unframed white background date window. And uh, the uh, nine o'clock is your running minutes for your chronograph. And the chronograph works in the same way as all chronographs. You push this pusher here once and that will start the chronograph off as you can see we've got that hybrid quartz movement or mecha quartz call it whatever you want uh, which gives it that kind of pseudo automatic sweep um, it ticks at five ticks per second um, as you can see that crystal is very reflective uh, the rest of the finishing on the watch i have to say generally speaking 
is not too bad at all. Uh, you've got a mixture of uh, brush and polished surfaces. You've got uh, a brushed edge here, transitioning up to high polish here, and then brushing on the top of the lug as well. Um, and it is actually done reasonably well. You've got a signed screw down crown. Um, you've got uh, the uh, the bracelet. We're going to come back to that and talk about that in a minute or two. Moving around the other side of the watch, you've got this uh, wider brushed surface here, which, you know, the brushing is pretty well done. I mean, it's I've seen worse, I've seen better. And you've got this high polished top, which runs the length of the case, which is quite well done, and high polish on the outer edge of that bezel. As you can see, that bezel's got a little bit of a uh, an angle to it, and you can see that uh, that domed sapphire crystal, uh, which gives a nice little bit of distortion as you move the watch around in the light. Uh, shame that the tachymeter bezel is uh, out of a line. Um, you know, it's one of those things that uh, yeah, I think that uh, yeah, Pagani Design do need to uh, have a look at because yeah, I've seen a few, not just on this particular watch, the uh, PD1701, but I've seen it on others as well, um, where it is out of line. Uh, now, moving on to the bracelet, it's 20 millimeters here, and it tapers down to 18 at the clasp, and then back up to 20. You've got the Pagani Design logo, which is etched into that uh, that brushed uh, outer shell which is milled and then you've got a milled clasp on the inside and then you've got the uh, various information on the back there Pagani design water resistant to 100 meters PD 1701 stainless steel and they've got that uh, that space themed let's give that a bit of a wipe the uh, the space themed case back I'm going to call it space themed because I've got a picture of the space shuttle on there, and as we know, the space shuttle has never been anywhere near the moon. Um, but the, you know, there we go. Solid end links. Uh, those uh, um, spring bars have got a nice uh, wide-ish opening in there. It's easy enough to get a tool in if you want to change the strap. Uh, the strap, I have to say, the bracelet, it's on push pins. It is solid links. Uh, it is uh, predominantly brushed. And you've got uh, these little uh, high polished pieces in here. They are actually individual pieces of metal. Uh, if I can find the box, uh, let's have a look. And we'll grab out those uh, other links. And I will just show that under the camera. I should have done this earlier, shouldn't I? But no, not that organised. And uh, what we will do is I will get my... Little spring bar tool we'll just poke that out of there so that you can see here we go that these are actually individual links and I think that for 60 quid you know you're almost getting your money's worth in the bracelet um, but yeah I, I think you know with something like this anything from Pagani design really whether it's one of their premium watches or whether it's uh, kind of one of their normal kind of if you like you know standard range i do think that we have to kind of manage our expectations a little bit we know what we're going to get we're you know 99 percent of the time we are going to get a copy and paste and there are going to be qc issues but they are only 60 70 quid when you're getting into the premium ones then yes you know i think that uh you know, if you get too many QC issues, then that's something that needs to be addressed. But overall, I don't think that this is a bad-looking watch. Um, it does have some loom on it, and um, the loom is, well, it's Pagani design, and it's going to be pretty much what you expect. Uh, it's not completely dark in here when I drop the lights, but, you know, hopefully it'll give us a reasonable idea of what we are dealing with. There we go. You see the double dots at the 12 o'clock, which is quite handy because you know the orientation of the watch. Well, you should know anyway if you got it on the wrist. Uh, but as you can see, it isn't particularly bright. Uh, it doesn't last a massive amount of time, and it is pretty much what we've uh, come to expect from Pagani Design. I mean, I would say that the, the hands probably disappear first, actually, and they only take literally, you know, 10 minutes and they're gone. So, you know... But it's not a dive watch. 
it is a sports chronograph and uh, you know if it was a dive watch it would be a different matter we could complain about the loom but you know I think that there's uh, you know there's just enough on there really it's, to be fair you're not going to be uh, timing things particularly in the dark but uh, yeah I mean the sub dials are done quite nicely they are recessed into that dial you've got that concentric circle pattern in the middle uh, the dial is matte black uh, I think the you know, overall it's it's not a bad watch and I think for 60 quid that is pretty much the kind of thing that we should be expecting and you know, I do think that uh, sometimes you know some of the comments I read on other other reviews you know some people have been uh, perhaps a little bit a little bit harsh and uh, you know maybe complaining about the fact that it's quartz um, we'll stop that and then I mean you press the bottom pusher and it does snap back nicely and uh, it is we'll just move back in there it is reasonably centered as well uh, it doesn't look like it is but that is because the uh, the tachometer ceramic insert is misaligned if you can look at that down at the uh, six o'clock and at the 12 o'clock it is off so it's just a bit a bit on the skew but there we go I think if we manage our expectations if this is the kind of watch that would appeal to you then I think it's fine uh, it's not a great watch but it's okay um, if you like this kind of content please give me a thumbs up if you like this watch give me a thumbs up um, if you want to see any more things like this just let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on this what are your thoughts on some of the negative reviews that have uh, that have been uh, kind of put out there you know i'm not saying it's a good watch or a great watch or anything like that it's it's okay it is what it is it's it's 60 quid um so yeah please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and all the other good stuff and uh thank you very much for watching though uh, that's it for now i'll catch you all in the next video cheers for now